hello again everybody welcome back and it's gonna sit in on this one with us but I just wanted to before Brad um, returns this for us do a quick review on um, the TENS machine that we used during the birth of Emmett. So it's an Ella TENS machine. It um, did okay for the first little part of labor. Um, it's definitely not something that is going to hold or carry you through to the end. Um, things just get far too intense. And I found it really finicky and at times just, yeah, was no good. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you kind of what it came with first. Um, it comes with a guide for different drug-free methods. So it's got acupressure, acupuncture, um, just different things that you can do if you don't want to um, use medications during birth. It's also got a band, a belly band, I didn't use that, that you can clip it onto, a little carrying case, and the instruction booklet. Um, now it says in the instruction booklet to attach the electrodes, they come in one of these and they're just for individual use um, per person. So these are supposed to be able to peel off, go back on so you can go in and out of the water or um, take break from them and try something else and then put them back on. Um, we did not find that was the case. So two things with these. Um, first is on placement. They say um, at your belly button line, put them, put two on your back just below your belly button line and two just above. I found this was really high. The ones that were up high didn't really do much of anything for me. Um, the ones that were down low did, but I feel like if they were really low and middle, or just anywhere lower than it said, um, that I probably would have gotten more benefit from it than that. The other thing is I didn't find that the sticky stayed stuck. It feels really sticky right now, um, but at the time it wouldn't stay stuck to my back, so we had to tape it down, and even then sometimes the connections weren't perfect. It would like bow up in my back as I like bent different ways. If I was like curled in the fetal position it might be nice and tight, but if I was not then I get this wrinkle and they just didn't adhere as well as I would have liked them to. Um, so that was the big problem with those. Um, to be honest, um, by the time the midwife was here, she kind of got here, she's like, okay, let's get in the hot tub. Um, took it off and honestly never put it back on. Um, so it did okay until those contractions were like three minutes apart and then after that it was like not enough, not enough at all. Um, so on the actual unit itself, these are the prongs that plug into the four, and then it's got a strap that can go around your neck. I did carry it around my neck quite a bit. I didn't have anything to like clip it onto. I was in a nightgown kind of thing. Um, but if you had underwear, I, I did have underwear on, but if you had pants on, you could hook it on there with the clip. Um, but I found that the minute I'd like lean over um, a pillow or something like that, I'd end up bumping buttons and I'd um, turn like the top ones right off or I would um, crank up one and turn down another. So I found that the buttons were really finicky to have hanging around your neck. Um, you do definitely want the boost button. So this model has many different settings. Um, each channel can be increased or decreased, um, so you can have the lower ones or the higher ones set at different amounts. Um, there's different modes, so the different modes pulsate at different rhythms. Um, one is like a good steady rhythm, um, which was great for focusing on, and that's kind of in between contractions. And then you hit the boost button up here when you have a contraction, and it's just like an intense like zap. If it's not hard enough at that point, you can increase it. I found when I had increased it when I was on the boost setting, it hurt. Um, but if I increased it in between when it was on the pulsating, then that was okay. Um, but if it wasn't getting you through and you needed to increase it in the middle, it was pretty intense kind of zap. <laughs> um, what else can I say about this? 
I would recommend it. Um, it was great for early on. I think you could I could have done more along the lines of just like focus and focus my breathing a bit more. Um, it was really late in the middle of the night. So it was a lot to kind of do in the moment. I was hitting the boost button on here and hitting the contraction timer and then trying to remember to turn everything off. And it was definitely, I guess, kind of took my mind away um, so that I could focus on other stuff. But at the same time, it was, um, it, it did help block some of the pain or I guess um, they say it works to build up your endorphins. So maybe. But I definitely used other methods of um, pain control further along that I think helped a lot more. So water was amazing, hot water, um, the hot pad, the plug-in heating pads. Um, at times it was just too hot and I'm like, get this thing off of me, but other times it just felt so, so amazing. So um, it, it definitely was a tool in my toolbox. I can't say that I used it or even was going to try and mess around with reapplying pads that didn't want to stick the first time. Um, so that was definitely my downfall with it. I'm not sure if there's other brands. These electrodes are made by Baby Care 10, so the same company. Um, and they say that if they're not sticking well, you can just add some more water. Um, again, we weren't messing around with them long enough. Retaping them down did help, but not that well. So that is my quick review on the Baby Care Ella Tens machine. Um, definitely anything in your arsenal helps, and I would recommend it. Um, maybe if I'd had I'd had a bath earlier that day, but I'm not sure if I'd been sweating and. Um, in labor for too long that they just didn't want to stick properly, but that would be my one complaint um, And make sure that you do have a way to adhere them um, through some more severe contractions um, when I did want really good um, Connection if I just had Brad put his hand on it, and it would make a really good connection um, That really helped as well So if you're having that kind of trouble just get your partner to put their hands on the pads and it'll get you the proper strength and proper everything. I'm just gonna give you a quick little flush of our little baby Emmett here. He's doing so good. We're just waiting for the midwife to come by for our daily appointment today. But that I think is going to be it for now. I will uh, see you again next time guys. Please hit the like button if you're enjoying these and subscribe to my channel for more. Thanks.